that was to hear from LearnDelphi.tv. And in this video, I have a small problem, and that is my toolbars are a little bit weird. They've got these big gaps in them, and uh, so in here, for instance. Now, I can go into Customize, and I can then look at um, fixing this up manually, um, but it's not necessarily going to work. And prior to this, some of the buttons were uh, even weirder. Um, so I think this came about because I was swapping between low and high DPI quite a lot, and Delphi didn't like it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is close Delphi and go into the registry and navigate to sort of computer, current user, software, and market error VDS. And then uh, I'm using Delphi 11.3, which is or all of Delphi 11 is uh, version 22 of the compiler. So we come down to toolbars, and what we can do is delete it, or if you want to save a copy of it first, uh, go to export, uh, which is what I did to be able to reproduce the problem. And we're just going to delete the, uh, the entire registry entry for toolbars. And then we're going to restart Delphi. We can see that my toolbars have been restored. Now, I like to customize these a bit. So here's a bit of a sort of productivity tip. Um, these are uh, browser buttons, and I always use the keyboard shortcuts, so I can get rid of those completely and also get rid of custom. And in customize, you can um, also add and remove individual buttons. And I quite like to have the button for notify on language exceptions. And I'll try and check that on the end somewhere there, just like that. Uh, because this menu item is very, very uh, embedded, it takes quite a bit to get to it. The other thing is shift all the toolbars to the top row beside the menu, and we get a bit of extra space. So if you liked that productivity tip, do check out my book, Code Faster in Delphi, which you can find on my website, learndelphi.tv. I'm Alistair. Thanks for watching.